Hey, welcome back to East Texas Live. There is a ton of events happening this week for the Texas Rose Festival, and one event is the annual Palette of Roses Art Show. Deanna Reese, the president of the Palette of Roses Art League, is here to tell us more, and I, I feel shameful growing up here. I, I'm not familiar with all these events. I've never been to the Palette of Roses Art Show. What am I missing? Well, you're missing quite a bit, and they used to say that the, uh, the Art League was the best kept secret, so we are working hard to get the word out. This is actually our 71st first year and our 67th year partnering with the Rose Festival being a Rose Festival event. All right, now someone's probably wondering what, what is this here? So I put on one of the pieces of art. This is a piece of art from one of your artists. Yes. Is this gonna be in one of the exhibits that you see this week? Yes, this is by Alicia Stanley and she actually has a beautiful piece that she put in as an entry and then she's got several items for sale and that can be worn as a scarf or a belt and uh, she also has beautiful eyeglass cases. You can see some of them there in that display. Eyeglass cases? Yes. Okay, so I saw a like a little box over there. Uh, you know, when I hear art show, I think probably paintings, maybe some sculptures, but now we're doing uh, scarves and eyeglass cases. And is, is that a pottery over there? That is. And um, the neat thing about art is there's so many different ways to express yourself. And so we have potters, we have weavers. The piece that I'm wearing right now is by one of our artists and uh, she does her own silk dyeing and this beautiful little detailing in the middle of it. So that's handmade. This is handmade. You can wear your art. I see. And, uh, uh, is, is some of this going to be available for purchase? Because yes. this looks really good on me and I don't yes. want to just steal it. We have a fabulous gift shop available and then all of the art, well probably 99% of the art in the show is for sale and it represents 80 of our artists. We have 160 in the art league and um, uh, 80 of our artists are in the show, so we've got over 300 pieces on display. And Th this is a huge show. This is a huge show. I hear part of the show is a memorial art wall. Tell me about that. Yes, yeah, so we want to each year honor our artists that we have lost. And uh, one of those was Nancy Burkhouse. And in the display that you saw earlier, the center painting is one of her paintings. Nancy taught art for over 40 years, and she also mentored many of our artists. So there's a piece by hers in that display by Doug Carter. And he was one of her friends and students as well. So we'll have her and Tom Stringfellow, who was a jewelry artist in the league, highlighted uh, on our art show wall. Oh, I'm sure they would like that. Now, my wife is an artist. The guy watching might be an artist, too. What if they want to get involved in your organization? We'd love for them to join us. You can find us on Facebook, Palette of Roses Art League, or www.palletofrosesartleague.com. And come out to the show this weekend and come see us. Okay, you say this weekend. What days is the show? Where is it? And what are the times? Okay, the show actually opens on Thursday morning okay. at 9 a.m., right after the, the queen will come through and pick her favorite piece. The mayor has already selected his favorite. So as soon as she's picked her art piece, it opens to the public. We'll be open Thursday until 5, Friday from 9 to 5, and Saturday from 10 to 4. Where? At the Tyler Rose Garden. All right, we all know where that's at. All right, well, thank you very much, Deanna. If for more on the Palette of Roses Art League, it's easy to remember, palletofrosesartleague.com.